evening all. It's uh, Thursday evening, five past ten. I've been a busy chappy today. Uh, done the usual errands that I do whenever I get paid. You know, I've paid the electric, paid the phone bill this time, paid the guy what I owed for all those computer -y bits and whatnot. Uh, got a few bits of shopping. So uh, I think I'm all good. <laughs> um, we should be going to a car boot sale Saturday, I hope, weather permitting. Um, selling, of course, but I want to keep some money so I can have a look around and see if there's anything, you know, that takes my interest sort of thing. Um, but what I've been doing today is basically, I started it last night, I've just been sorting out all these cables and I've had to tidy up in the drawer. I've tested those power supplies and I found three that were dead, so, as you can see, down here, I've harvested the fans out of the dead power supplies. Now, that's some really nice ones, look at these. They just look nice to me. And it's spinning alright, so the bearing is perfectly fine. That one's got the, I presume you plug that into your motherboard and that gives you um, speed control over that, I'm presuming. That's the only reason, because it's got the plug on it that you'd plug into a motherboard. Uh, <laughs> I've got some assorted bits down there. Oh yeah, I think I figured out. I don't think I showed this in the initial horde video, but I've got one of these. Now, it's got written on it, postcard, PCI support, LED, LCD. Oh, supports LED, LCD. Well, it's got an LED display on it. But it's got this header up this end, which is labelled LCD. And I do believe that will plug into your PCI slot on a motherboard. And I have seen them where you can get like an LCD display to go in the front of your computer. I think that's what this board is for. So it can give you like processor details and temperatures and things like that. Um, I believe that's what that's for. I have got another one on here which is a lot smaller. And it's got two headers on. It's got this one again and then it's got that there. But that chip in the middle looks exactly the same as the one on there. I don't know if it is. Um, but I'm presuming you would connect this to your motherboard via this header. And I can see right up the top there, it's got the program header up there. And then connect that, probably, to the display that you'd put on the front. That is my theory. If anyone else uh, knows any different, then uh, feel free to let me know. But I'm thinking that's what it is. Yeah, because this header here is actually labelled um, LCD, where my thumb is. That's the only header on this one. And like I said, my brother's motherboard that he's put up for sale, I don't know if he's sold it yet, had one of these LED displays built into the motherboard that gave you various uh, details. Um, uh, if it is, I might actually incorporate, incorporate rather, one this into my PC with an LCD display um, just because I can <laughs> but anyway um, still haven't done the printers yet but they're at the bottom of the list I want to get the stuff done that I could hopefully sell on <laughs> fingers crossed um, what I've been doing to make things easier when I try to sell crap at the car boot <laughs> I've sorted these boxes and to do that I've put a, you know, a temporary divider in. So I've got phone cables this side, phone and you know your ADSL cables and whatnot all in here. RJ45s or Ethernet cables are all in there. 
assorted lengths and assorted, assorted, assorted. Ah, I'll try that again. Assorted types and lengths. I don't know if they're all Cat Five. I haven't looked. Um, I haven't got that sort of, or gone that in depth into sorting these. It should say on them. This has got some shit spilled over it, so I'm going to put it in the bin. No one's going to want one with some sort of crap stuck to it, so... I've got one bin bag down there to go. So I've been a busy bumblebee in the kitchen. The kitchen... <laughs> is embarrassing. You'll see, see it better in a minute. Here we go. <laughs> I need to get in there to stack my PSU's up properly so I can stack these ones in. These two I haven't checked yet. I've been piss arsing around with a motherboard to test things as well. This has got Windows XP on it. Don't know what this card is. I'm actually looking for another one of these motherboards which is DDR2 memory. It's got an AGP slot on it for some reason. But I could toss into that and get a third PC. I've had an offer on because I've got that one down there up for sale which has got a 2 gigabytes DDR2 and a 1.6 gigahertz Intel dual core. I had a, I don't know which one I had an offer on but I had an offer on one of these two. They're both the same case but the main difference is spec wise this has got a 2.6 gigahertz dual core AMD and I'm, I'm not sure which one's actually going to be the better. Personally I prefer Intel so I'd lean that way but um, they both work fine they actually work pretty quick for what they are. Ideal for a, a cheap setup to stick in a kid's bedroom or something um, which is why I'm selling them cheap. I got an offer of, I put them up 50 and I got an offer of 35. Well so, that's still a good chunk um, of what I paid out on this lot, just for the one. Um, I've got these laptops and I know for a fact that's at least £10 each there. So by the time I think I sell at least these two main PCs plus the three laptops, I'd have broke even, maybe even got a little bit of a profit. And then whatever else I can sell on will just be profit after that. Not that I was in it for the profit, not really. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the cases I think I'll do up to sell here. Yeah. I've got another one. In this case I was thinking of turning into a Windows 98 machine. I did want to use the e-machines underneath it, but finding a power supply for that case is... Uh, nigh on impossible because it takes a really really dinky tiny one um, that one is a nice case that was given to me by another guy along with another one that I actually dismantled for parts because the case was too badly damaged anyway um, it would be alright if I was going to use it myself but if I wanted to um, push it out again you know with Windows 7 and whatnot on it I, it wouldn't have been suitable for that this one would be, but it's got a broken USB port on the front. Which I suppose isn't a biggie, because it's only on the card reader. So it's not too much of a biggie, I suppose. I could uh, shove that one out. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. I'm not in any great hurry to, anyway. That could be a rainy day project, that one. I love a DDR2 in there. Yeah, it did. So this has got DDR2 memory, but an AGP slot. For graphics. Oh well. Guess I'll put this together in that case. Oh you son of a bitch. My back just popped. <laughs> I didn't. Well actually I didn't think you could actually pop it where that just popped. Oh you bitch. <laughs> right. Anyway. Here we go. Look at this. I'm going to put these on eBay. Because I do have a use. I've got some various uh, cables here that I wanted to show you. Just because uh, it's different. Well, I found a US plug here. United States of America plug. Look at that. Complete with earth pin. 
and the two square pins of equal size. Now I do like these plugs because you know they are small, they are tidy, they do the job. Um, and I've actually just noticed the earth pin is in fact longer than the other two pins. So yeah, I do like that one. Now we'll move on to two types of European plugs. We've got this one, which has got the two pins and the earth contacts on there and there. Uh, the only problem is with this, your live and your neutral is making contact before your earth. Right. Now there is a reason why that's bad and I'll get to that in a minute. Here's just your basic two pin version for a European plug. Which I actually like, you know, it's suitable for things that, well, are technically what they call double insulated. That would be because it's all plastic, same as that, so it wouldn't need an earth wire. Uh, which is what these uh, figure eight cables are commonly used on. But, uh, yeah, I do like that design, you know. Got the insulated pins as well. Anyway, here's the good old British plug. It's bulky. It's ugly, but it is safe. <laughs> That's the one advantage with this. It is well designed in the sense that it is safe. Look at that. This is just for those that don't know. The earth pin is a lot longer than these two, and there's a reason for that. In an ordinary plug socket like this, as you can see, there's a shutter there. This is a legal requirement over here. It wouldn't comply with regulations if it didn't have this. Now, to open the shutter here to get your live neutral pins in, the earth pin has to go in first. Hence why it's longer. That means the earth pin is making contact first. So, if in the event that what you're plugging in has a fault, it will just instantly trip as soon as you know your live and neutral make contact. It'll just go boop because your earth has made contact first. Thus, it will keep you safe from getting an electric shock or even starting a fire. That's the whole point of why the British plug is designed the way it is. And it's also designed with these little grooves nowadays, so you can actually get hold of it without having to put your fingers behind here and go. Bzz. But that's why they're double insulated as well, so if they do, you know, not sit in properly like that, you can't get anything down there and get a belt off of it because your main pins are insulated. Hence the black insulation. So, just in case anyone was wondering why ours are designed like that, yeah, I agree, they are bloody ugly. I hate to look at them, they're horrible. You know, if anything, I think I actually prefer the American style when it comes to looks, but I don't like the cable because this, to me, looks like it's just single insulated, not double insulated like this. I mean, when you look at this cable, it's exactly the same as this one. The actual wire is no different, nor is the kettle lead on the end. So, same with this clover leaf. It's still the same as it is over here. But yeah, this has got, I can see it's got three separate insulated wires. You see, ours are done different. It's all wrapped, three wires, individually insulated wires are wrapped in this insulation. Which is also better because it means it's going to be a bit more robust than something like this. I, mean, I don't know if it's common in America for cables like this to get damaged and show bare wire. But then, having said that, I will say, that does feel quite tough. It doesn't feel cheap and flimsy, that actually feels quite tough, that insulation, so... Any Americans want to help me out there? Is that a good, tough insulation? I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, because I haven't got a use for it. But considering, you know... Places like France and Germany are right next door to us, and a lot of people go on vacation now. I thought, oh, you can try these on eBay. Because to be honest, I'd rather take the proper lead with me if I was going to France, Germany, Spain, or anywhere in Europe than use one of those dodgy, cheap power adapters. 
I wouldn't trust those cheapy power adapters as far as I can throw them. Anyway, I've also had a major clean up in here, but I'm far from finished. Um, had a nice sort out as well. I've got tray of cables there. Pardon me. Because my aim is to just have this thing, you know, my centre for all my cables, all my spare cables and whatnot. Oh, and my power adapters. Or laptop adapters, I should say. So I've got like visual cables here, TV cables and things. I think there's a couple of audio in there. I've got a big box in the lounge I've got to sort through yet. Um, need to work out what I'm going to do with all those freaking bike lights I got from not this Christmas, last Christmas. I've had them a year and I've not done anything with them. I've got a couple at the car boot. I might take a few more. Why they thought that was a good idea to get. I know I like lights. I love things that light up. Now, hence why there's illuminated objects everywhere you look, like them blue flashing lights there. Those torches everywhere. Actually, standing here, I can see one, two, three torches alone. That's not counting. I've got some in the drawer there. I've got a drawer of odds and sods and crap here now. It's so stuff that I don't use that often. And the reason I'm having this move around as well is because. Up this corner I've always got stuff stacked so I have to move it to get to the drawers so I figured it would be a better idea to put the stuff that I barely use up this corner and then put the stuff that I do need to get to up there because most of the time the only item I've got to move is that chair and that just rolls out of the way so that's my thinking I'm filling that box up for the car boot as well I'm gonna have quite a few boxes <laughs> Um, I've got a box of bike parts, random bike parts. Actually, I've just found another flashlight. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> the problem is I can never find one when I want one. <laughs> yeah, I've got loads. And I can never, ever find one when I want one. It's a bit like a pen. You've always got pens lying around, but as soon as you want one, you can't find one. Right. Oh, these can go in that box. I'll put these on there. I know it's a cycle repair manual, but I don't need that. I don't know why I bought it in the first place. I don't need those either. <laughs> right. Uh, I think that's it. I'll be glad when I can get all of that cleared. Don't think there's any books on there that I want to ch chuck on. Nope. I was looking over there to see if I can see it. Oh, there's that box of cat wire. I was looking for that earlier. <sighs> right, I've got a printer on the floor here. That's got to go in the lounge at some point to be set up. So I can use it. That's why I haven't listed the... Um, laptops on ebay yet because i'll have to go via my hermes because of their weight it's cheaper um but because well without the printer set up i can't uh, print i've been preoccupied sorting a ton of crap out oh yeah future video coming up i'm going to be taking another look at this and attempting to repair it because i did ask on the um turntable group i'm on um, for some advice on fixing it and uh, it turned out Dum Dum here put, probably put the capacitor on the wrong way around which is why it went pew and blew its guts all over the inside of my record player because <laughs> um, a lot of capacitors especially electrolytic ones not so much the ceramic style and there's another style that isn't usually but um, electrolytic ones especially, they have a polarity and if you get that wrong, they go bang. That might have been what happened because it was the correct value is what was written on that. The one that came out, actually I think it was um, a little bit bigger. So it shouldn't have gone bang and that's what they said. So they said 
the chances are I put it on the wrong way. So as soon as I've got room in the kitchen, I can take that in there and give it another go. I think I'll have to buy a replacement cap. In fact, I'll buy a few because if I can get, just in case I blow one again, but if I do get this channel that's not working to work fine, then I'll replace the other one just as a matter of doing it because no doubt the other one will go eventually anyway. So while I'm fixing it, I figured I might as well do both. Right, um, just looking around, I can't see anything else I'd want to chuck in my blue tub there to go to on our car boot. I've got some non-laptop adapters to go and throw in a cardboard box over there, which has actually got quite a few printer power supplies in there. Most likely for the ones I've got downstairs. Uh, right. That can go off. I'm going to have a sit down in here for ten minutes. Going on online. Right. I'm going to leave that video here. Um, or end the video here, I should say, not leave it here. Um, I've got plenty of stuff in the kitchen to find a home for yet. Which I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what I've been doing as I've been a busy chappy. I'm not sure what to do with the pile of um, filters on the floor there. I haven't decided yet. So I've never had to replace one. I think the one I've got plugged in now I've had for the past six, seven years, I think. No, actually, it was that new one that I got with my new hub. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> but I know I had the original one in there quite a few years, even if that one is a different one. Anyway. I've still got plenty to do. I need to clear the bed at least for tonight. Continue tomorrow. I might actually just look through the box that's uh, under here and that one for some power supplies I might just stick in the top of another box that I'm going to take and flat pack some boxes so I can open them up when I get there and tape them up we'll see I'll do that tomorrow probably because I can't be bothered to do any more tonight <coughs> anyway thanks a lot for watching don't forget if you like the video hit the like button if you want to see anything in specific let me know in the comments I'll do my best to show you. And uh, that's about it. Oh, don't forget to subscribe as well. Of course, if you want to. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.